is the biggest house I've ever seen. It's the Palace of Versailles, home of Marie Antoinette. You know, she was mostly famous for one thing. Cake! I love cake so much! <laughs> Marie Antoinette sure likes cake, Mr. Peabody. Indeed she does. Marie was a woman with a prodigious appetite for all things covered with frosting. But her expensive tastes made her the target of much criticism. Why? Because, Sherman, during Marie's reign, the common people of France were exceedingly poor. Got any bread? No! I'm exceedingly poor! Now can we have some cake? May we? Oh, yeah, sorry. <laughs> May we have some cake? May we? Maybe she can't hear me through the hair. Sherman, what the queen means is... Ah, let them eat cake! And when the queen heard the poor of Paris could not even buy bread, she said, Let them eat cake! No! We, I heard it myself! It's a scandal! It's an outrage! Not with the queen! Down with the monarchy! Wait! What kind of cake? Oh. Vive la révolution! Vive la révolution! Smashing party, your majesty. But now I'm afraid Sherman and I must be... Sherman? Sherman? Sherman! Sherman? Sherman! Dear Sherman! Hey, Mr. Peabody. What are you doing in here? Trying these other cakes. There's one in here with whipped cream and strawberries that's... Pretty fantastic! Sherman, don't you remember why I told you to stay close to me during the French Revolution? Because after the French Revolution, it was gonna rain? Close! I said after the French Revolution comes... the reign of terror! Ah! 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 Round up the aristocrats! We will slaughter them like the dogs they are! Starting with this one! Mr. Peabody! What should I do? Nothing, Sherman! Just stay right there! But Mr. Peabody! Everything's going to be fine, Sherman! Just stay right there! Back with his head! The lowest of the fruits. Who dares to insult me with this man? Get that down! Mr. Peabody, how do you escape? It's simple, Sherman. I noticed the distance between the sewer lids, reasoned that there must be one directly under the guillotine platform, noted the loose board under the basket, computed the angle at which the setting sun would bounce off your glasses, momentarily blinding the executioner, and chose that moment to swipe the executioner's melon, giving me the added weight to tip the boards, facilitating my exit. That's amazing! It's not amazing. It was just a matter of keeping my head. Huh. Keeping your head up. I don't get it. There he is! After them! Come, Sherman, quick! Interestingly, that's not water. <laughs> I've got you now. Indeed you have, Monsieur Robespierre. And what a master of the chase you are. Oh, you noticed? Of course, doubling back on me like that, that was genius. Thank you. I just hope you don't take my little confederate here. I depend on him so completely. Get over here, you. Drats, you're devilishly clever. I know, and much quicker than you as well. But are you quick enough for this? <laughs> See, quick. Quick, yes. But not too smart. Oh! Another cantaloupe! Yes, so! All right, Sherman. Looks like it's time for a little pop quiz in the art of fencing. Go! Attack! Parry! Rush! Repeat! No. Remise! Yeah. <laughs> Ha! <laughs> 
Ha-ha! You missed! I never miss. Methane gas in his sewer system. And given the fact that it ignites at 306 degrees Fahrenheit, we're about to use it to blast out of here! Hang on! Nice landing, eh, Sherman? Oh.